For those of you visiting Lincoln for the first time or the first time in a while, can't say we have racing like that every week, but we have racing like that most weeks here at Lincoln. MBN Sun, tailgaters, turn outdoor advertising, J. Henry Heating, Cooling and Plumbing, Thornton Chevrolet, Michael Barsinger, builder developer, of course, Mike Barsinger, the owner of this race team. And a whole lot of celebrating. We figured we'd see a celebratory victory lane here tonight. Congrats from Dad and the car owner. Oh my gosh. You know, you had a couple guys get together racing right behind you there, and they were real good guys, but you passed them both in one turn. You know, I remember there were days back here where you had trouble in three and four. What a move! Yeah, well, uh, at the beginning of the race there, Mike said get up top there, and I was running up top, and uh, I wasn't real comfortable. It was piled up pretty good down there, and, uh, and like I said, I just kind of moved around there. And, uh, actually, when Alan and them got, to get, got together, I got in the wall pretty good down there, and I thought it might have bent something, so I didn't want to run the top up there, and... Uh, I moved down and the thing was stuck pretty good and there was about a one foot strip down there in the bottom and Mike had the car so damn good I could run right on that and uh, I didn't really think anybody could get us once we got out front. Well you did and you kept the bottom once you got in front. I think you had a little bit of tiny bit of damage on a wheel cover here and that's about it. None the worse for wear. What a run. You look good all night but uh, man uh, just the best you've ever looked. Yeah I tell you you know we won some races and uh, um, you know, we've been good here before, but not like tonight. You know, tonight we started ninth there, and there's a lot of good cars up front there. You don't expect, uh, you know, you got to be a half a second faster to pass all them guys, you know, usually. And uh, like I said, Mike just hit this thing right, and uh, I was pretty good there. And Brian and Fred were going at it, and I kind of just ran in there as hard as I could, and the thing stuck and drove by both of them. Kind of surprised myself, actually, but uh, once we got out front there, it was pretty good, clean air. And uh, like I said, I could just kind of cruise right around the bottom, and... Uh, I was just real thankful to have a good car. Mike did a heck, heck of a job tonight. Couple late cautions there. After those two got together, uh, Brian and Fred, all of a sudden there's Pittman and there's Monteith. Uh, I know you felt like you had a strong car, but uh, you had to be talking to yourself. Yeah, I tell you, like, uh, you know, you get some restarts with Fred Raymer behind you. you. You know what he's like on restarts. He's, he's the best. And uh, I tried to change it up a little bit, whatever you can. You know, it's a slick. You got to just try to find somewhere to go. And, uh, and I don't know what happened to him and Brian and them guys, but then you got Pittman and Monteith behind you, so, you know, you don't know what to do. But like I said, I just kind of concentrated on hitting my groove down here and uh, hitting my marks, and uh, I thought, you know, if they drive by me through the middle of the top, uh, good for them, but uh, I didn't, I didn't want to move where, you know, I, I didn't even get my wing. I, I got my wing back there at about the last two laps, and, uh, you know, I figured we'd, we'd be all right the rest of the race, and like I said, I never really heard it. I heard Fred a couple times when he was in second out in the middle there, but... Uh, I'm just glad it was over. You so many caution and like we ran 10 heat races. I know you have some folks to thank. This has uh, got to be one of the big wins of your career. Yeah, it is. You know, this is uh, by far the biggest win. And uh, like I said, it's not too often you can start back there and drive by the quality cars that were starting up front. Um, you know, we had a little help there. You know, I don't know what happened with Lance and Allen got piled up there. Like I said, we we, we just monster trucked it through there and ended up, uh, ended up here. But, you know, I got to thank... I gotta thank Mike and uh, you know uh, all our sponsors. You know, I mean, Sons, Michael Barsher, York PB Trust, uh, Classic Rock Tool Shed, um, Don Ott Racing Engines. This thing, this thing really runs. This is my favorite motor of the group we got. And uh, 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 Wings Unlimited. You know, everybody, everybody that supplies QA1 shocks. You know, my dad builds our shocks, and as far as I'm concerned, he, they're the best shocks you can run. And uh, I'm just real, real fortunate that I'm the only one that can run them. Well, you know, this is the annual Kevin Gobrak Memorial, and I can't help but think that Kevin was up there real happy with what he saw out of your performance here tonight. You're too young to have run with Kevin, but I know that uh, there's a lot of people in that pits out there that remembers him. Well, yeah, you know, you know the whole Gobrak family, and uh, it's an honor to win this race. You know, Kevin was one hell of a racer, and it's unfortunate. Uh, we didn't get to see him to his full potential, but uh, real honored to win the race. And, you know, like I said, the Gerbrick family is a great family racing. I know Brian, Scott, all them guys, you know, uh, it's a, it truly is an honor to win this race.
Well, we've got a couple of race winner decals for you. One from Lincoln Speedway, one for the Central PA 410 Sprint Series. We're going to get the Go Brecks in here in a couple of minutes. What about this guy? I don't think you listened to a darn thing you said tonight. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, the, he's the real deal, buddy. Let me tell you. We've been together now going on eight years, and uh, I don't think too many teams can say that out there. And uh, I knew I had a good one back years ago, and that we uh, and everything worked out to run this 410 full-time. And... Uh, it's just a team effort. I have a great bunch of guys. Davey Rohrball helps me. He's my right-hand man. Uh, Vinny, uh, my boy Jason, of course, he's home tonight. Couldn't make it. Uh, Corey's dad at Ari does all of our shocks, which makes a big difference for us. We're uh, getting that going right now. Uh, these new Maximum cars work pretty good, too. Talking to car owner Mike Barsinger. And, uh, Mike, I know you remember Kevin. Oh, yeah, definitely. He was one way of a driver. Uh, I used to really watch him run off the guard rail all the time. He, he was one of a kind. Yes, he was. We're going to have Mike draw the winning ticket.